welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynanne. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet. Sometimes it's about knitting, sometimes it's about yarn, but mostly it's about my journey through this fantastic yarny community. Uh, returning subscribers, hey, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me. Uh, today is Make a Long Monday. We are back on track, guys. Um, you know, the holidays are over and we're kind of back into the normalness of the year, 2024. Can you believe that? Um, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know Tom and I did. We, um, Saturday, they kept telling us there was going to be these terrible storms. They never really materialized. It kind of was rainy and yucky, kind of like today, but it didn't get the terrible I know further south in Florida in the Miami area they had water spouts and tornadoes but none of that got up this far um and then yesterday we ended up going to the rescheduled flea market it was a beautiful day uh sunny and 60s and uh, it was just the perfect day for a flea market um didn't find anything extraordinarily cool. Tom found a, a fan that he wanted and uh, I found a picture frame, but nothing super cool to report. Um, I am on the hunt for a, a, a specific item and I haven't been able to find it yet, but one of these days, if it's meant to be mine, I will find it. Um, I'm looking for a glass bird of paradise, uh, blue bird of paradise or blue bird of happiness is I think is what it's called. And I want one really bad, but I haven't been able to find one. I've seen people buying them. I've seen people showing theirs on their vintage hauls. I just not have not been able to find one out in the wild. Someday I will. It'll, it'll be meant to be mine, and that will be my happiness day. Uh, anyway, let's get back to crochet. Um, oh, before I forget, I do want to say a very special happy birthday to our very own Lynette at Charm Grammy Crochet. Happy birthday, Lynette. I hope today is a wonderful day. Got that out of the way. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, Make Along Monday. Um, I am doing, right now, just two Make Alongs, and one really isn't really a Make Along, more of long, uh, a monthly event. Um, and that is the Hookers versus Hookers uh, event, I guess you'll call it, from uh, Laura at Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming and Jan, an Alaskan crafter. Those two got together and you know when they're together it's always some sort of shenanigans and they've decided they're going to do this hooker versus hooker um, event once a month. And if you don't know what this is, go check out uh, either Laura or uh, Jan's channel, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown if I can do it right. So it all started months and months ago when they went camping with Seta from Seta's place. And they each set out their, or I think Jan set the, the, uh, the challenge, let's say. And they had to make something using a ginormous hook and a certain color yarn, kind of based off of the, um, there's a, a feature in one of the magazines that Sam from Manfa's Makes reads through. It's kind of like that. So anyway, it was fun. They enjoyed it. They're like, let's do it again. So they did a test run, I think back in October. Again, it worked out really cool. So here's what the premise is. They find two volunteers, one who is a podcaster, one who's a subscriber, and then Jan and Laura, they're, they're the ones who have to make the item. Um, then there's another two people, another podcaster and another subscriber who get together and pick out the challenge. And they say, you have to make a bag use the, this, this month, you have to make a bag making, using the following colors purple, pink, blue, and gray. So now the four that are doing it, they can't show anybody what they're doing. The rest of us who join in, we can show, um, cause it's just silly fun. 
there's no prizes. It's just bragging rights and fun. There's a couple of different lives throughout the month that are involved. So if you've ever wanted to be a part of the Laura and Jan shenanigans, go to their uh, videos. I'll, if I can remember to link it below, I will. And send them an email and say, hey, I would like to be one of your, you know, victim contestants volunteers. It's because there's no there's no prize or anything. So it's not like you're applying to be in it. You're just, you're like, come on, I want to join the fun. So come join the fun with Laura and Jan and everybody else. But I am making a bag. Um, the bag I'm making is a pattern from Hey Carrie. Now, if you've been around my channel a while, I made this bag one other time and it was an epic fail. And so I'm trying it again. And we're gonna see how this works. So my colors are again. Oh, I think I'm attached to this one. I'm using all cotton. Um, so this is my pink, and this is a cotton funnel cake. Plumeria. And then my purple is a cotton funnel cake, which is the color. thistle. My blue is the color Calm Skies. And then my gray, I'm pulling off of this, which is a Karen Lava Cake. And the color is Smoke. And this is the one, and I'm because you can't use variegated, so I'm only pulling the, the the solid gray off and I'll figure out something to do with the rest of that. So this is the, those are the colors that I'm using and I'm using a, what am I using? A five millimeter hook because that's what she says to in the pattern. And this is part of the panel. Now it's as wide as it's going to be, and it's going to be three times as long as it is wide. And then you kind of do a origami folding trick with it and then put a handle on it. But so far, this is what I've got. And I think I like the colors together. I think it looks pretty. It's going to be a cute little tote bag. Um, you know, just something to, it'll be a project bag, I think, by the time I'm done with it. I don't know. But I love the way this, I love the cotton ripple cakes. I think they're so pretty. And uh, this bag is not hard to do. It's single crochets, double crochets, and triple crochets into, you know, the row below kind of a, a deal to make the really cute pattern. Um, it's easy. It's just, I don't know what I did wrong the first time I did it, but it was an epic fail. So I'm gonna keep going on this. We have until the end of the month to get this done. Um, and this has got to be, I think it's 43 inches long in order to get it to the right size in order to do the folding. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe I won't go that big. Maybe I'll go until I have two panels about this size and then just sew it up the side and make a big giant project bag out of it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You know, fly by the seat of our pants. But th these are my colors for the hooker versus hookers and the beginnings of my bag. So we have pink, purple, blue, and gray. And this is a lot of fun. This is just a fun little, you know, goofy project. But you know, who doesn't want to get into shenanigans with Laura and Jan? So that is hookers versus hookers. The other make along that I am in is, and I have been doing this for a year now. This is the start of the second year for uh, Judy at Judy's Creations in Crochet, her monthly picture inspiration. And this year she switched it to Tropical Birds. It, I'm going to pop a picture in here of the, pic, the bird she picked for this month. Holy colors. And you know what? Going through my yarn stash, I realize I have a boring palette of yarn when it comes to bright colors. Um, I have a few neons over there um, in my acrylics, and I have a few rainbowy things over here, but I, I'm woefully short on super bright colors. 
Um, I have a few in the uh, in my bamboos, but not not that would match this picture. So I went through everything I had, and I came up with. I have some of this and I think this was gifted to me by somebody because I have never placed an order um, with ice yarns and this is I believe if I'm not mistaken I gotta pull the bull band out of here it's down here somewhere yeah this is Picasso and I I know darn well. I have no, I've never ordered from ice. I've never had an, I've only been gifted. So somebody sent me this and it's this beautiful purples and yellow and blue, a little bit of green and some pinky reds. And I only had three of those and there's only, I don't even know what this ball will tell me how many it's on here. I don't think it tells you how much yardage is on here, but it's a small ball. Oh wait, it's 50 grams, 115 meters, so 120 yards. So I grabbed what I had left of this, the Mary Maxim Sunrise, and this color is Mirage, and this is a um, premium micro acrylic and there's a hundred grams, 240 yards on, and I had two, I had three of these left. This is the third one. Um, and this color, did I say, tell you what the color was? Uh, Mirage. Did I tell you that? I probably did. Anyway, I started it and my, I, all right, I've got a mess again. See how unorganized I can be. So my, I knew what I wanted to make from the outset because I had seen this on Judy's channel. And then I watched the video and this is the Agatha's reading shawl by Ophelia talks. It's, it's not difficult, but the shape is so awesome. I love it. And this is where I've got so far. This section here is all of the first ball. And then down here is all of the second ball. And I'm going to go with the gray for as long as I can go until it's big enough where I think that's where it's going to be. And then I will add in the last third ball because I want it to end with the rainbow. And boy, if I've got a mess now. Um, even though it says this is a number four and the uh, Mary Maxim Sunrise says it's a number three, these are working out really well together. You cannot tell a size difference. I think they tell you that this uh, Picasso is a number th uh, four because it's of the fluffy factor, but it really, really is. I mean, there they are together. I can't split them apart. There we go. We got a three and a four, but they really do look a, almost identical in size. So this is the reader, the Agatha's reading shawl. And it's basically a half a hexagon the center section is solid. So when it's down your back, it's a solid piece of fabric. And then the designs are on the ends. And I just, I love the shape and I love the colors that this is coming out with. I don't know. This is just, is I love this. I love this so much. And uh, thank you for suggesting it, Judy. This will be another one that I will be going back to more often because I do love the idea of the solid piece down your back and then what you wrap over you is got the designs on it. I just think that's a really cool design feature. So that is the um, Judy's Creations in Crochets 
make along. Now, if I can remember, I will link the pattern. Uh, it's a tutorial on uh, YouTube. I'll link that in the description box. I will link uh, Laura and Jan and Judy and hey Carrie so if you want to do that bag she uh, hey Carrie her bag she did it in a solid color and it's really really pretty um, but I know I did something wrong with her it was an epic fail um, when I had first started my channel badly failed anyway and I, and it was one of those I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna conquer that when I get a little bit better so we'll see if I'm better enough to conquer that uh, uh, bag but with that god i am itchy today you guys my skin is so dry um i think that's it for today you guys that's a that's a monday um tomorrow is uh second episode of tunisian tuesday have your um scrap yarn and hooks ready we're gonna learn how to do the tunisian simple stitch and we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Um, but I've got a great idea. Uh, we're going to learn the first three stitches. And then we're going to go from there. So with that, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a fantastic Monday. An even better week. And until we see you tomorrow, make sure you take care of yourself. Give yourself some grace. But be kind to everyone. Thank you.